friends, my name is Miss Erin and today we're going to have a mindful moment. So first we're going to start with something called flower breath. So for flower breath, you're going to hold a flower and if you don't have a flower, that's okay. You can use your finger to imagine that it's the most beautiful flower that you've ever seen. So I have a beautiful purple flower here, but you may use your finger if you don't have a flower at home. Okay, so we're going to first hold our flower up to our nose and we're going to smell our flower and we're going to blow the petals. We're going to smell the flower and blow the petals. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Smell the flower and blow the petals away. Good. So today I'm also going to read you a story. And this book is called The Invisible String. And this book was written by an author named Patrice Karst and illustrated by Joanne Lou Breithoff. So it's called The Invisible String. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly, it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, cried, they cried out as they ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know we're always together no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom held something right up in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? asked Eliza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it right in our heart, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Liza asked. She sure does, said mom. And best friends like me and Lucy? Asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, mom said. Would it reach me even if I were in a submarine deep in the ocean, asked Jeremy. Yes, Mom said, even there. On a mountain, if I were a mountain climber, even there. A dancer in France, even there. A jungle explorer, even there. about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said mom. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there.
Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or what game to play in the back seat or what time to go to bed. Oh, that's right. You two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they now could clearly see no one is ever alone. So just like this story, my friends, we're all connected by invisible strings. So even on days like now where you can't see your friends every day, we can still be connected to them. And I'm going to teach you how to send them some kind wishes, even though you're not with them. Are you ready to try it? So kind wishes are something that we wish for people. We wish them to be happy. We wish for them to be healthy. We wish for them to be safe. And we wish for them to have a life that's filled with joy. So you can practice saying these words after me. Say, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May your life be filled with joy. So when you're feeling like you miss your friends and you miss some family that's far away, send them these kind wishes and notice what happens inside your heart. Your heart begins to feel so happy. Tune in another day for another mindful moment with Miss Erin. Bye friends.